We're having another Padma Graph collection that arrives January 27. So obviously I'm not having this collection. I just wanted to um, talk through some of the products that she will be launching for this collection. A little bit more products than I expected, but then certain products seems like they have just been repackaged again. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts about this collection. Now, one of the things that interested me the most are of course these three eyeshadow palettes. They look kind of safe. I would say some of you will probably love this one mini, uh, mini size palette even more than the bigger one. Um, so each eyeshadow palette has six eyeshadows. One of them, it's first of ever Pat McGrath, it's all matte eyeshadow palette. This, however, even though we may discuss if these are repetitive shades or whatnot, um, this may be something that will be much more convenient for you regarding color story and um, especially if you're traveling or something, it's just easier to having a smaller palette that you are using on your daily basis so let's dive in so first of all we are having a love collection mothership eyeshadow palettes these one retails for um they are expensive um 74 euros or 65 dollars i would say out of three of them um the one that caught my eye was the one that was a little bit more cooler toned and that is the iconic infatuation not super deep in depth um this will be something on more a lightweight romantic side i would say why there are no swatches for this one on the website i saw them on the initial instagram video one thing that can be excited exciting for you is this all matte eyeshadow palette from pat mcgrath right away i'm gonna say i love color story between these two colors first one first top left and bottom left lightest and darkest color in this palette yes i think this one this shape would be amazing for lighting up your eyes you know how much i talk about it because um, i don't see this undertone this type of light shade enough in the eyeshadow palette and then we have everything in between when it comes to the rest of these four shades is this the same makeup look i'm confused this golden one inside the waterline looks pretty pretty nice and this shade on her eyelids it's beautiful again each of these um eyeshadow palettes retail for 74 euros which is again not cheap something else that we have what is supposed to be new it's longwear liquid eyeshadows we have multiple shades i do love this combination of green and gold undertones olive undertones i think they look pretty nice again these will cost 33 euros each product they're supposed to be let me just click on one of them they're supposed to be longwear eyeshadows liquid shimmer shadow creamy texture ultra blendable crease proof smudge resistant 10 plus hour of wear and this is now water resistant so that means like if the water gets into onto this product it will remove it so it's supposed to stay on your eyelid as long as you are not in a contact with the water so that's just questionable now for my um waterline if i would be able to use that which i would love to if um first of all if i can if it's not just for uh, the eyelids i would love to use it that way but again if it's not water resistant then i won't be able to use it that way unfortunately but it would be cool for um outlining some um cool lines or if you're watching my tutorials you know how much i love to um stretch the eye with those lines that i create again i think these eyeshadow palettes are gonna be really convenient for you if you're willing to pay that much money for it i've heard comments how this packaging or even products look like bridgeton remind of bridgeton collection that she already launched so we are having three lip lipsticks each priced at 34 euros or 30 dollars this is supposed to be classic classic red with the orange undertone bright scarlet red yeah this is already existing product <clears throat> i'm thinking i would like to try this natural bare nude color again it feels that some of the products again she did that with a couple of um her light let us two collections repackaging um certain products we do have here two um, Skin Fetish Divine Blushes 
flirtatious and desert art head what else do we have in here liquid last legendary wear lipstick so this is warm coral nude lipstick and soft beige beige peach um priced at 36 euros blurring under eye powder repackaged into the love collection and this is a light translucent product i have not tried this one this one has been priced at 36 euros so that will be everything from this collection um the most exciting part for me from this collection if anything will be this palette mothership infatuation palette and all matte um, eyeshadow palette and uh, but for the most part i think that this will be convenient for the uh, majority of people because the palette is not too big it is pricey but with the color story it is pretty much safe and i think will be um, good for a lot of you that do um that are into this type of color story let me know what would you like to see if there is anything you would like to see from this review right away i'm thinking what kind of looks i could create with this the color story here says the parameter or how it will look like so it's not gonna be nothing colorful but uh, more on a safer i would say side that will be everything for today guys thank you for being with me again let me know your comments in the comment section down below is here anything that you would like to purchase from this collection and i will see you in my next video until then have a great day and watch this video before you leave i'll see you soon bye